my friends and welcome back. I'm Dita, this is Papa's Bar. Hey, I, I, guys, I got something special today. As you can see, that is Rittenhouse Straight Rye Whiskey. Well, the name is kind of famous now. But if you guys watched the TV in the last few months, you have seen what happened there. This kid, the 17 year old, now 18 year old kid, uh, just had his trial and got found not guilty by the jury of his peers. And I leave it at that. Uh, when I saw that bottle, I said, well, I can't resist. You know, I, 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 I gotta buy it and make a video. Uh, it is 100 proof, 50% alcohol, straight rye whiskey, Rittenhouse. And the special on here is bottled in bond. Now, this is a little hard to explain what that means, bottle, bottled in bond. Uh, the thing is, in the old days, when they made the mash, you know, the mash bill and produced that whiskey, it was under strict control of the government and they had to lock the doors. The police were standing out there or sheriff department or whatever law enforcement agencies it, it was back then with guns, handguns, rifles, you know, and protected the people inside that nothing interferes with the production of that uh, whiskey and also that they don't do anything foolish because it's 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 protected it's bottled and distilled in Louisville Kentucky by the Heaven Hill distillery distilled and bottled that means they really make their stuff themselves under locked doors inside they do not get uh, a general whiskey delivered to their place like some distillery do that. They get their base uh, whiskey delivered, then they put it in their own barrels, you know, and uh, uh, slap a label on later on after it's matured, whatever they want to get out of it, four years old, eight years old, 10 years old, whatever, you know, then they put the label on and that's how they make the whiskey. Uh, many other companies do it the same way. Uh, vodka companies, they get the base clear spirit, you know, the grain alcohol, then they redistill it, and then they put their own label on and sell it as their own, you know. There are very few companies in vodka, for example, who do it themselves. One of them is Absolute Vodka. They got their own grain silos at their property. They, make their, they got their own water, and they make their own vodka out of their own stuff. They don't get anything delivered, you know. For example, if you see like uh, the gasoline tankers, they drive around and deliver gasoline to the gas station. Similar to that, companies drive around full with alcohol, get it delivered to the distillery, they get it out, you know, and then they make their own brand of vodka out of that. And that's how it works, you know. It's just, uh, how can I say, economical, uh, seizable for them you know they, you make more money but if you make your own stuff it's cost more it's more labor intense you know um, but uh, in my opinion you got your own uh, um, distillery you make your own stuff there out of your own grain out of your own corn uh, your, your own mash bill I think it's a product you can be proud of it and I, 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 I know they are really proud of what they do you know I never had this stuff and it's <coughs> sorry it's 100 proof, so this is gonna be a pretty strong stuff. Uh, it's an age statement, no, there's no age on here, but it's a minimum of four years old. So the youngest spirit in here is four years, you know, and since there's no age statement, so we do not know if there is like a six year old in a little bit of percentage of a 10 year old one, you know, but the base is four years, so. That's how much I found out about it. Uh, is there anything else? Well, this is straight rye. This is actually my first, yeah, my first straight rye whiskey uh, I'm reviewing here now. And the first one I ever had. So <laughs> it's gonna be fun. 
Let's open the bottle. Uh, Rittenhouse. Three shots of that, you won't get up anymore. <laughs> That's how it is. All right, brand new bottle. Oh yeah, price point. I think it was like $32, so it's a little bit on the high side, in my opinion, for that Kentucky stuff. But like they say, good stuff costs money. So we'll see, we'll see if it's good. Thank you for tuning in. I have to say that. I appreciate that. I appreciate all the new subscribers, you know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Tell your friends about it. The more subscribers I'm getting, the more videos I'm gonna make. That's all, thank you my friends. Plus, like the video. If you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, you know, thumbs down. Ooh, wow. I can smell it already. The color is very nice, if you can see that in the light here. Nice honey amber color, so that's really, really pretty. I like that, it looks nice. The bottle itself, a nice simple logo, 750 milliliters, 100 proof, you can't go wrong. All right, my friends, let's go to the nose. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's whiskey. <laughs> that's whiskey. The uh, mash bill, the combination of what's in here, it's a 51% rye, 37% uh, corn, and 12% uh, malted, uh, malted barley. Wow. Now, right, I know that for a fact the taste is gonna be intense because my vodkas are like, they're rye vodkas, and you get the peppery taste, you know, and it's strong, which I like, you know. So I assume this would be the same in here. Okay, my friends, cheers for you guys. Written house, 100% rye. Cheers. Yeah, that's what I call a whiskey. Wow. Mm. Unmistakable rye taste. A very strong peppery uh, sensation on your tongue, in your mouth. It doesn't last long when you swallow it down. At the end, it, it disappears really quick. It comes on very strong. Well, it surprises you. It disappears really quick. The mid palate is okay. There's not much to it. Maybe a hint of vanilla. The peppery taste. Uh, burnt charcoal wood. And that's about it. It's really, it's, it really tastes good. I'm surprised. I mean, I didn't know what to expect. First time rye, and then 100 proof. <laughs> Usually everything else is 40% alcohol, this is 50% alcohol. So it's got a kick to it, but uh, that's, that's a man's whiskey. It's really good. I think I bought something good today. <laughs> well, I, I bought this too, so it's gonna be another story. But I really, I just bought it because of the name. It's the same like, you know, the, the, the killing case on TV. So I just bought it out of, for fun, I guess. And it turned out to be a good whiskey. So 
Wow, I still got a taste on my uh, tongue. Uh, I'm getting uh, grapefruit now. Some sort of fruit, I think grapefruit. I don't like grapefruit, but it's okay because the, the, the beginning of it, the peppery taste is really good. It burns. It shows you who's the boss. It, it really does. It, it, this whiskey, when you drink it, it lets you know, hey, I'm in a house, written house. It, 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 it's good stuff. Gotta have a second one. Mm. Oh, wow, yeah, oh, whoo. Oh, man, it's even better now. Wow, I, I think if you never drunk stuff like that before, rye whiskey, especially at 100 proof, you gotta, you gotta get used to it a little bit. You know, you gotta, how can I say? You gotta drink your way into it. You know, you gotta get used to it. It's just like buying a new pair, pair of shoes. You gotta get used to it. You know, a couple of days you walk in it and then you find it fits like a glove. Yeah, that, that's good. So I have actually nothing negative to say about it. It's, it, it, it's a good whiskey. It looks good, it tastes good. It smells good. I'm getting kind of like blue cheese. Yeah, like blue cheese it smells. I wonder, I don't have water here. If you put a few drops of water in, I think it's gonna open up even more and you're gonna get more uh, uh, sensation, sensations out of it. It opens up. Uh, two or three drops of water, I think, would make a difference too. You don't want to put ice in, you know, or, 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 or too much water. You don't want to dilute it down, then, you know, you lose the whole sensation. Or if you put in uh, ice, if you ice your whiskey, especially a hundred proof like that, you actually, you numb, you, you, you numb what you want to get out of it. You know, the flavors. So colder a whiskey gets, so less you taste it, just like vodka, you know, you people put vodka into the freezer well you know yeah the viscosity changes you know it gets thicker but you taste woof, nothing anymore you know it's it's a waste of your evening in my opinion because whatever you drink if it's whiskey cognac uh, vodka you, you want to drink it to enjoy it. you want to find the flavors you want to you know like me the peppery taste the vanilla taste the oaky taste you know uh, the peated taste in water and in whiskey that's what you're looking for that's what you want you know then you drink it mm, it's nice you know you enjoy your evening but if it's ice cold you lost 80 percent of your flavors you lost all of your nosing you know it's nothing there anymore all you do is you get drunk <laughs> that's it you get drunk without experience of discovering what's in the bottle that's what it's all about in my opinion other people they just drink they want to get wasted you know fine but that's not what this is all about we want to find you know the taste what's in it you know so it's an experience you, you can say it like that it's an experience so my friends uh so if you see that bottle somewhere i would recommend you go and try it out you know i don't know if they got little bottles you know to try out like little jack daniels <laughs> Like that, you know, that, that would be helpful if all the companies would make, uh, I don't know what you call them, drive bottles when you drive your car or whatever, I mean, uh, airplane, yeah, when you're on the airplane, airplane bottles, pocket bottles, whatever. They should make things like that for all, you know, so people can buy the small stuff, drink it and see if they like it, you know, and you don't buy something, then you got the whole big bottle at home and you don't even like it and you're never gonna drink it and your friends the smooches they drink it for you <laughs> the freeloaders that's what you call them okay my friends uh, on a scale of one to ten i easily give it an eight it's really in my opinion a good whiskey of course they're gonna be those snobs online who say well it's not good what you got there is not good you know 
you gotta buy that stuff, that stuff, and it costs you $100, $150. This is not what this channel is about, you know. I, what I buy is what anyone else usually can afford. I do not go out and buy $300 bottle of whiskey, $200 bottle of whiskey, or vodka, cognac, uh, tequila, and things like that. Because this is uh, snobby stuff in my opinion. And people like to brag, you know, oh, I only like that, you know, whatever whiskey, vodka, drink, whatever it is, you know, that's the best stuff, this is ghetto stuff. I, I laugh about people like that because in a blind taste, they wouldn't know anything. You know, they, they, we did it with uh, vodka. You know, everybody talks a bit about Grey Goose. Grey Goose in every blind taste we did, lost. Grey Goose never came out number one. Smirnoff came out number one. But Grey Goose never. Always, when we had like five, it was number four. If we had 10 different vodkas, it was in eight or seven, you know, down there. So don't tell me you buy something that's very expensive, it's gonna be good. I think it's just, like people with expensive fancy cars, you know? Oh, you drive a little, uh, you know, Honda Civic or whatever. I drive a Ferrari, Porsche, BMW, whatever, you know? It, it is laughable. It's not about the money. It's about who watches the channel, the average person. That's what I'm focusing on. People who go to work from eight or seven in the morning till five or six in the evening, you know? It's not, meant to be for high society you know for people who only buy something that's 500 dollars and up they don't even look at uh, a 60 dollar bottle of whiskey which is expensive in my opinion for the normal person you know not everybody can afford a 60 dollar bottle of whiskey they buy a 20 dollar bottle of whiskey you know and you can't judge people by what they spend on alcohol i mean this is absolutely ridiculous so I hope I cleared that up. Let's go back to business. I give it an eight. It's a really good whiskey. It's uh, relatively cheap for what you get, you know? I mean, 30 some dollars, it's, it's cheap in my opinion. It, it's a good, oh, no, don't say, it, say it's cheap. It's a good value. It's a good value for the money. That's, I think it's the right word for that. Okay, my friends, um, if you like the video, please thumbs up. Tell your friends about the channel and I'm gonna upload another video tomorrow. I'm gonna do that stuff for tomorrow. <laughs> Clan McGregor, Leonard Scott Whiskey from Scotland. Okay, my friends, that's gonna do it for the day. I appreciate you turning in. I uh, answer all the questions you got by email or in the comment section. And until then, next time, I'm Peter. This is Papa's Bar. Bye bye, my friends.